Hello Railfans, and welcome to French Fried Trains. Today, we're going to be doing an interesting one here. I was planning on building an Amtrak Base 5 at 40PH at PCU when I came across pictures of this modified one, which is very unique. So this is an X at 40PH at PCU, which is where Amtrak modified them. It took out the prime mover and everything from the engine compartment, put a roll-up door on the side, and use it as a baggage car while it still has the cab to control the train from the other end. But this one is extra modified. So this not powered control unit has antennas on the top. And what happened was apparently in the 2008 USA presidential election season, ABC News was touring the campaign trail on this train and wanted to be able to broadcast the news right from the train. So these white domes up here are mobile antennas that allow for a satellite uplink to where they could broadcast the news right on the spot wherever this train with this not powered control unit was. So they hacked off most of the roof and put all these antennas on it. And I just thought it was pretty unique. So we decided to build it here. So this is what it looks like. Now let's get into it. So as usual, we're gonna start off with the rear coupler. So we'll take out a dark oak stair and we're gonna attach that up on the second layer here. Under it, we're gonna put a sideways dark oak vent skate. Then on the next block forward on the bottom, we're gonna go five wide of backward facing black stone brick stairs here. On the next layer, a black stone brick block in the middle and two backwards upside down stairs on either side of it here. Then we're gonna come down on the bottom above the rail and we're going to open a birch vent skate on the bottom and a dark oak vent skate above that and do that on each side of the coupler here. Then we're gonna come in front of this in the middle and we're gonna do a three block tall T-shape, a black stone brick block in the center. Put a torch on either side of the second layer, and on the outer edge, three quart slabs like this, and three on this side. In front of this, we'll do a five by three of black stone brick block coming out to each side of the tracks. Then we're gonna come back here on top, and we're gonna go five wide of upside down stone brick stairs up here. Then we're gonna put a birch fence gate in the middle, and two skeleton skulls on either side of the fence gate. Now come in front of this on bottom and put a dark oak fence gate on each rail. Then right in front of that we're going to do another eight wheel on each rail, then a deep slate tile top slab in the middle. Then five wide of deep slate tile top slabs in front of it. Then two rows of five bottom slabs. Two top slabs on the center here, then five wide of top slabs in front of it. In front of that do another set of another eight wheels and a slab in the middle. Put a fence gate on the front of these two wheels. Then two fence gates on the middle of the truck on the side here, two on this side. Next, go through and put a hopper on all four netherite wheels. Then we're gonna come up top and do a line of black stone brick blocks down the center to the, it's aligned with these front fence gates. And put a full row of dark oak fence gates on the side of it. Same thing over here, a full row of fence gates over here as well. Next, we're gonna crouch and put a wither skeleton skull on the side of each hopper will repeat on this side and get a wither skeleton skull on each hopper over here. Then we're going to come up here and put four dark oak trap doors on the middle here and then four on this side. Then come up top and crouch and put a single deep slate tile slab on top of all four of these hoppers. Then we're going to come out here and put a wither skeleton skull above all four wheels. Then we'll come up here and crouch again and we're going to put a sideways end rod here and here and then one here and one here. Next we'll come in front of this on the bottom here and we're going to go three wide on the bottom middle with black stone brick block and extend that forward so it's seven blocks long. Then put seven upside down black stone brick stairs on either side of this facing outward. Then come up here on the second layer and just cover the whole top of this in black stone brick blocks and a five by seven up here. Just 
corners like that. And actually on this front top corner, change this to a quartz top slab, and this one on this side to a quartz slab. Then up here, go three wide on the top middle of black stone brick block, and we'll go ahead and bring it all the way across the top to the back, three wide in the middle here. Then we're gonna come up here and put an upside down quartz stair above this slab here, and an upside down stair above this side too. Then come on the bottom here, and we're gonna use polished black stone top slabs in the middle here of the upper hitbox on bottom, and we're gonna do a three by four of slabs coming forward. Then come on this side only and add two slabs right here. Then up on this corner, we're gonna do a two by two of blast furnaces right here. Then on these front two rows of slabs, two rows of three sideways anvils for air tanks. Behind this, two black stone brick blocks in the middle, and two here. Just like that. Next, come in front of this on bottom, skip one block forward so there's a gap of space, and put a fence gate on each rail. Then in front of the fence gates, we're going to do another wheel on each rail, and a deep slate tile top slab in the middle. Then five wide of top slabs in front of it. Then we're going to do two rows of five bottom slabs. Then two slabs on the top middle, and five wide of top slabs in front of this. In front of that, another set of netherite wheels with a slab in the middle. Put a fence gate on the front of these two wheels. Then we'll also put two fence gates on the side here, and two right here. Then go through and put a hopper on the side of all four netherite wheels. Then we're going to crouch and put a wither skeleton skull in each hopper. And same thing on this side, one on each hopper over here. Then we'll come up here and we're going to put four dark oak trap doors on the top middle right here. And four on this side. Then we're going to crouch and coming off this middle anvil, do a line of black stone brick block down the top middle here. Until it's aligned with these front fence gates. Then a full row of fence gates on the side here and a full row of fence gates on the side right here. Then come up here and crouch, and we're gonna put a single deep slate tile slab on top of all four of these hoppers. Then come out here and put a wither skeleton skull above all four wheels. Then come up here and crouch, and we're gonna put a sideways end rod here and here, and one here and here as well. Then we're gonna come up here on the front of this top layer, and go three wide in the middle of black stone brick block. Then on the next block forward on bottom, three black stone brick stairs facing forward on the middle, upside down stair facing outward on either side. Above that, a block in the middle, two upside down stairs on either side of it. Then on the second block back, three more black stone brick blocks in the middle, one block back. Take a dark oak stair, turn around and stack it up on this middle, second block for the coupler up here. Under it, put a dark oak fence gate. Then open a birch fence gate above each rail, and a dark oak fence gate above each of those. On the top up here, go five wide of upside down mangrove stairs. Then we're going to put a birch fence gate on the middle, and a skeleton skull on each corner like this. Then come up here, behind this on top, on this third layer, and go three wide in the middle with black stone brick block, and bring it back across the top until it meets up back here. Then we're going to come back up on this front corner behind here and do three smooth court slabs like this. And then three on this side. Then right behind that slab we're going to come to the top on this corner and do a row of mangrove top slabs across here. Then come behind this stair and a row of mangrove top slabs all the way across to the back. Repeat on this side so a row of mangrove top slabs across here. Then come in front of this stair and a row of mangrove slabs across here as well. And now the base is finally done. Now come on top of the front here and do two rows of five clay blocks. Then on the top middle, three blue concrete and a warp slab on either side. Come behind this and do a column of two clay on each side here. And then across this top third layer, five blue concrete. Then on this bottom outer edge, we're going to come back by four clay and make it three tall. 
Same thing on this side of four by three over here. Then across the top right here, two black stained glass blocks, blue concrete, two stained glass blocks. Behind it, do a single clay block on either side here and here. Two black stained glass panes behind it. Then a white stained glass paint on the side here and here. Come behind this on the bottom and we're gonna change this slab to a quartz stair and two upside down stairs above it. Repeat on this side. Then on top of these, we're gonna put a door on either side. Behind that, do a column of four clay blocks behind the door on each side. Then on either side of this door, we're gonna put a column of four birch fences for railings. And repeat on this side, four birch fences on either side of the door on this side. Next, we'll move down on top of the back. On the third block from the end in the middle, put a door, two clay on either side of it, two rows of three clay on top of it. Then one block forward, four clay here, and four here. On this back, side we're going to do a column of four birch fences here and then forward one then three birch fences here repeat on this side so up four here then forward one and then three here then two here two here and a chain across the middle then come on top of the back and put three blue concrete on the back right here and then another three in the middle in front of it like that and then we'll come back up here. So we're gonna come on this bottom outer edge behind here, and we're gonna do three clay, then take out this slab, and put two upside down quartz stairs here. Repeat on this side, so three clay, two upside down quartz stairs. Then on top of this on each side, put a birch door. Then we'll go ahead and fill in this gap in front of the door with two rows of three clay blocks. Go ahead and repeat over there. Then we'll add two on the front top here and two here. Then behind this on bottom, we'll do a three by three of clay on each outer edge. Then right here is gonna be the cargo door. So we're gonna do six outward facing stone brick stairs here and make that three blocks tall of outward facing stairs. Then we can go ahead and repeat on this side so do six outward facing stone brick stairs here and then make that three blocks tall as well. And then behind this, we're just gonna fill this whole side in three blocks tall with clay block and bring it to the back. And repeat on this side as well. So three blocks tall of clay and fill this whole panel in. Just like that. And actually, looking at it here, I think I miscalculated the height on this. So we're gonna take our clay blocks and we're just gonna do another full layer all the way across here, except where these doors are, we'll add another six outward facing stone brick stairs on each side. So it comes up another block tall. And then fill both sides of this with a layer of clay as well. Sorry about that. So it should look like that. Now come on top of the front with blue concrete, go three wide in the middle. And start bringing that back three wide in the middle, and we're gonna come back till it's three blocks behind the front doors here. Then, on the outer edge of this, we're gonna do a full row of outward facing, warp stairs across here, and bring it up to the front. Same thing on this side, a full row of warp stairs across here. Then behind this, we're actually gonna drop down one block and we're gonna fill the whole rest of this middle in three wide with blue concrete here then we will go ahead and bring that all the way to the very back then we're gonna take warp slabs on this top outer edge and we're gonna start one block in front of these stairs come across these stairs and two blocks behind it and then just repeat that pattern of slabs directly across to this side here. Now we're going to come back up front here. We're going to put a conduit on the front here and here and a warp button in the middle. 
cover the top of the nose in blue carpet. Then behind this up here, we're gonna do two rows of three warp slabs here. Then we're gonna skip one block back and we're gonna do a three by three of warp trap doors here. Then we're gonna come over here and open three warp fence gates here in the middle. Then skip a block back here. On this side, we're gonna put two dark oak fence gates here. On the other side, two levers going into each other and a warp button right there in the middle. Then we're gonna take out smooth quartz blocks and we're gonna do a three by three plus shape here. And then we're gonna skip back right behind where these slabs are and do a three by three plus shape here for the antenna domes. Then back here, we're gonna put two zombie heads, four, two by two of warp buttons here and a lever there. Then come up here, put a warp fence gate here, a sideways dark oak one here and here, then a lever in the middle here. Then on both of these, we're gonna put a white stained glass pane in all four corners of these antennas. Then a single smooth quartz block on the top middle of each and put four outward facing smooth quartz stairs on all four sides of the block. And same thing here to round off these dome antennas. So it looks like that. Next, we're gonna take out blue carpet. Do two rows of three up here. And then we'll do this side and the other side. And basically we're gonna come through the whole roof. Anywhere we haven't put something, we're gonna put a blue carpet. So make sure we get in all the gaps and out to the sides over here. And then a row of three here and three here. Then we're gonna come down by this other door and we're gonna do a column of three birch fence on either side of this door. And same thing here, three fences on either side of this door here. Next, come under the cap right here and we're gonna put three warp signs here. Cause that's where the numbers are. And then same thing, three warp signs here on this side. Then we're gonna come up front and we're gonna put a glow item frame here and here and one on the top middle of the nose with frog lights. Then a stone button here and here. Then up here, we're gonna put a birch sign here with our number 90225. Same thing on the other side. Hit both of those with a glowing sack and in the middle a glow item frame with a redstone block on it. Then, We'll move down and detail the back end. On the back, we're gonna come on the top middle, put a warp sign with our number, 90225. Hit this one with white dye in a glowing sack. And then under it on the middle, we're gonna go ahead and put a glow item frame with a frog light here. Then a stone button here and here. Then we need to make some banners. So we're gonna come into a loom with a light gray banner and blue dye. And we're gonna put three horizontal blue stripes on it. Then go to light gray dye, do this bottom triangle, then the opposite bottom triangle so it looks like that. Then a new banner and three horizontal blue stripes again. Go to light gray dye, put this bottom triangle on it. Then we'll do another one, three horizontal blue stripes. And then this time we're gonna do the opposite bottom triangle of light gray. Then one more with just three horizontal blue stripes. And then we can come and place all these. So we're gonna come on the back. On this side, we'll put this triangle one here. Then come all the way up front, and this triangle one goes on the front middle here. Then we're gonna move behind these stone brick stairs here. One block back, we're gonna do this triangle one here then the three stripes, then the opposite triangle. Three warp signs above it. And then do the other side. So come over here one block from behind here, this one, then the stripes, then the opposite triangle, three warp signs above that. And I have a mistake here, I had to take that one off. Now we'll do the interior, so come inside this front door with polished and a side block. Put three under the window, behind it drop one down, 
we'll start filling this floor in three wide with polish andesite. And we'll come back till we're one block behind the door. Up here, put another right in the middle with two levers. Then up here, a glow item frame and a compass. Turn around, put a stair on either side for seats. On this back middle, two blast furnaces. Then a door on either side. Then we'll come back here. We're gonna drop down on bottom and we're gonna fill this whole floor in. Three wide with polish and a sight coming back. And we're gonna stop two blocks before the very back. Put three polish and a sight stairs here. Then come up here and put a stair in front of each of these doors. Then I'm assuming all the news broadcasting equipment's in here, so we're gonna come behind here. On this side, we're gonna do a row of five netherite, and up here we'll alternate diamond ore and redstone ore to look like some computer banks here. And do some upside down stairs here, a redstone comparator here and here, a lever here and here, over here a glow item frame with an end crystal, so it looks like computer screens. I'm just guessing on the interior there. I don't know what's actually in there. So there we have it, folks. We've completed Amtrak 90225, the F40PH non-power control unit, modified to be a mobile news broadcasting antenna. I hope everyone enjoyed the build here. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And everyone have a great week. Stay safe out there, rail fans.